The debate was again in court today as his murder case inches closer to trial. Debate from Ellington is accused of killing his wife, Connie, in their home in 2015. Today, he and his lawyers were trying to keep prosecutors from using data from his wife's Fitbit device. We get the very latest now from Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino. The Fitbit One device, one on the hip, is a very accurate device when it comes to step counts. Prosecutors today arguing they should be allowed to use Fitbit data as evidence at Richard DeBate's upcoming murder trial. They say it's a key piece of evidence, with police saying it contradicts his account of how his wife died. To support their argument, prosecutors brought in a Columbia University professor who had to test the accuracy of Fitbits for a research grant. A judge agreed to keep the evidence despite DeBate's lawyers claiming the devices are not scientifically valid. This was a free living environment where, all the, where this event happened. This was not a controlled environment like you had in his lab. Richard DeBate told police he left for work around 8.20 a.m. on December 23, 2013, the day his wife died. But then his timeline fluctuated. He told police he returned home because of an alarm and because he forgot his laptop. He says he got back home sometime between 8.35 and 9 a.m. While at home, an intruder attacked him and shot his wife, he claims. Police estimate the incident took around 10 minutes. But data from Connie DeBate's Fitbit shows she was active at 8.53 and again at 9.08. Video shows her arriving at and leaving a gym around the same time. She was active again around 9.18 when police believe she arrived at home. Police say her last activity was tracked at 10.10 a.m. State police were called to the DeBate's Birchview home around 10.16 a.m., first by a panic alarm and then six minutes later when Richard DeBate called 911. Judge Julia Dewey also denied motions by debate to move the trial and to challenge the use of police canines in the investigation. Debate did score a partial victory. Dewey ruling prosecutors cannot play the last 50 minutes of debate's six and a half hour statement to police. There's another hearing scheduled in this case for February 18th. Debate's lawyers indicating today that they plan to challenge even more evidence, including Facebook records and information from debate's home security system. This case remains on course for a March 2nd jury selection. Reporting from Rockville, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.